Hello guys, my name is Dabaraptor, and welcome back to Kimura for our continuation of our How to Hunt series. And today, we'll be changing up the system just a wee bit in comparison to my older How to Hunt videos. So with that out of the way, these are my hunters, Sarah and Hunter. Today, we'll be teaching you on how to hunt the Feathered Frenzy, Acnosom. Let's begin, shall we? Acnosum is a large bird wyvern found in the Shrine Ruins and the Frost Islands. This monster is characterized by its large head crest and long wings, which it'll use to become similar in shape to a parasol. Acnosum is what I'd like to call the skill check monster. There are several of these monsters throughout the game that'll test your skill and are inherently tougher than what you faced before. Acnosum is not only different in design, but in element too, as it uses the much more threatening Fire Blight, which is a perfect segue onto the attacks. As some may come to realize, Acnosom is, relatively speaking, far more dangerous than monsters like Great Baggy or Arzoros. Acnosom is reliant on slow startup attacks that lead into powerful and quick finishes, along with unorthodox methods of confusing the player. First thing to look out for is Acnosom's kicks. The first one we're looking at is called the Flip Kick. Acnosom backs up twice before doing an elegant flip kick. The attack is easily telegraphed and can be dodged, but standing still in one spot will get you hit. Mobile weapons will need to keep moving as to evade. Heavy weapons can hold their ground and guard. Next up is the front kick. Acnosom will jump forward and scrape the ground to stagger the hunter. Acnosom can do this two to three times in quick succession. The attack does not do much damage and can be dodged and blocked easily. Acnosom also has what I like to call the Debris Kick, in which Acnosom will look behind himself and deliver a kick. The kick itself isn't meant to hit the player, but instead hurl a pile of dirt towards them instead. This dirt pile comes out faster than adults from pulling Justin Roiland off of Rick and Morty. Let's see the truth. What in the... Oh, son of a bitch. If you're caught in the radius, dodging is almost impossible. Blocking is possible, and if you can't block, you're fucked, so get ready to wirefall. Next is Acnosom's Tail Flick, and this attack has caught me more times than I'd like to admit. So when attacking Big Bird, it'd be cautious of the rear, as despite the attack looking quite weak, it can actually send you flying if you're not careful. Acnosom will also use the... This attack has a wide sweep and can send you flying. Acnosom will often do this attack twice, so either back up and capitalize after he finishes, or block the attack and appropriately counter when necessary. Acnosom also has the charge attack. This attack is fast and can send the hunter into the air. The attack has two states, one where Acnosom is unenraged and one where he is enraged. The non-enraged version is thinner and Acnosom runs in a straight line only. The enraged version has the head crest fan out to catch the hunter in a wider radius. He also makes U-turns just in case he misses you in the first go around. This attack can be blocked but should preferably be dodged when unenraged. When enraged, the hunter should either run away or block the incoming attack. When Acnosom falls down on the floor, the hunter can capitalize for a short time. Now onto the more threatening stuff. Acnosom will shoot fireballs in combat. These fireballs are strong and slightly bounce off the ground leaving a fire effect. There are a few attacks to look out for. Now this one is quite widespread amongst monsters and it's called the Triple Elemental Shot. Monster Hunter veterans will know how to dodge this, but for you newbies, either back up, get behind the monster, or get between the fireballs to ensure your safety. Acnosom can also jump backwards shooting three fireballs. This attack can either be avoided by getting behind Acnosom or running away from the attack, which can transition into two different attacks depending if Acnosom is enraged or not. When he's not enraged, Acnosom will do his best attempt at a Mary Poppins impression by defying gravity and floating mid-air. What the f- He'll spin around and shoot fireballs in every direction. This attack can be unpredictable, but avoided easily. 
it can also be used to counter Agnesom in the right circumstances, as any jumping Silk Bind or Powerful Shot will bring this Kung Fu Panda reject down to the ground floor for a free down. However, be warned that when Agnesom is enraged, the backpedal fire move can be followed up with a Peck Slam. The Peck Slam sends the hunter flying back and does serious damage. While Agnesom doesn't always use his attack, he can always catch you off guard with it, and it can be used by itself or to finish up combos on previous attacks like the front kick. Be warned that a well-placed Peck Slam can be your end, so keep cautious, hunters. And for Agnesom's most powerful attack, this is what I like to call Bastion's Ultimate from Overwatch 2. Agnesom stands completely still and fires arcing fireballs from mid-range. These do decent damage and will make the midfield almost impossible to move in. If you're close to Agnesom when he does this, just get behind him and start attacking. If he's further away, then move back and wait for him to finish up to close in. As you can see, Agnesom is almost a perfect balance of power and mobility, compensating attacks that allow it to trip up the hunter. Now that you know how to counter it, let's talk about weaknesses, weak points, and turf wars. In terms of elements, there isn't much to work with. However, Water and Blast seem to have the best output and build-up. Aside from that, everything else is completely fair game. In terms of elemental weaknesses, Water and Thunder are going to be the most effective, so if you can craft anything with those, bring it along. Ice isn't very effective and doesn't give too much extra damage. Dragon and Fire are completely useless. Now for weapon types. Hunters with cutting weapons should aim for the wings and crest, while also generally going for the head. When it's appropriate, please let the hammers and hunting horns have their space in multiplayer. Blunt weapons and attacks should target the head and the head only. This is your best and only option from a tactical standpoint. As for you gunners, aim for the head, crest, wings, and go for the tail. Although, in this fight, gunners should be aiming everywhere and just really be going all out. As for breakable parts, the beak, crest, wings, tail are all breakable parts on the monster's body, with all weapons being able to break them. So go crazy, hunters. In terms of Turf Wars, Agnesom only has two, however we'll be saving another one for a different video down the line. And in general, Agnesom doesn't perform too well in these Turf War scenarios. Now that you have the tactics to defeat this monstrous bird, let's take these materials and see what we can craft with them. Agnesom armor, while being very stylish and pretty, also has some decent base stats. With a base stat of 81 defense and excellent coverage against fire attacks, the stat of 18, however it only has meh coverage against ice and dragon, both with an equal of 3. For its stylish appearance, Agnesom armor is terrible against water, with a stat of minus 12 and only a mildly bad coverage against lightning with a minus 2. The armor's abilities consist of fire attack level 3, quick sheath, and recovery speed, both being at level 1. This can allow the hunter to recover from attacks at decent speeds, as well as sheath their weapon much faster than normal. Now, let's see what our hunters have chosen for weapons. Sarah has chosen the Agnesom Switch Axe, which has a base attacking set of 100 and an elemental fire stat of 15, and affinity at 0%. Hunter, by contrast, has chosen the Greatsword, with an attacking set of 100 and an elemental fire stat of 20 and an affinity of 0%. Both weapons have access to green sharpness and can be massively helpful when dealing extra damage. And of course, here is the demonstration of the gear at work. Overall, I think Agnesom is a fantastic addition to Rise. I was never too crazy about Agnesom when I first saw him, but over time, it really grew on me. I like his design, I like his fight, and something about the elegance of its fighting style really makes me enjoy watching Agnesom fight me or other monsters in his turf wars. Overall, I think Agnesom is a welcome addition to any future Monster Hunter game. My final verdict is 7.5 out of 10. Would hunt again. Well. That's all me and my hunters can show you today on how to hunt Agnesom. My name has been Dapperaptor, this is Sarah, and that's been Hunter. And we'll see you all next time on How to Hunt. Speaking of which... Bird up. <laughs>
Bum, 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 bum,